what's up everybody this is angry hippie lady and we are back here in skyrim and well we are detected you go over there i go over here i'm pretty sure that there's guys up here and if not well maybe he'll weaken them a little bit maybe frost atronach is half dead almost dead Take this guy out. Okay, he's gone. Death is the only way out for you. I am Dovahkiin. I am not allowed to leave, ever. Oh, what? Did he really just disappear into here? That is such bull honky. Okay, nope. Let's go back out. No, no. He, he's not allowed to escape me. That's why I went in there after him. That's not allowed, sir. Alright, there are a lot of red markers, and I don't see where they could possibly be. Take that. Hunting bow, really? Really? You thought that was a good idea? Ow! Where? Where you be? Where, where you be? Everything is over there. I'm not going out there. They will have to come back in here to get me. I think I gotta go in this tower anyway, so... See ya! I think I need to go in this tower. Thistle. Thistle. Mine. You don't get any thistle. I get all the thistle now. Ooh, snowberries. Thank you. I feel like I'm gonna get wrecked. Because I skipped all those guys. Wonder if I could have snuck around these guys. But I didn't. You're dead. Uh, Potion of Magicka. Steel May still in. Get wrecked. Fire crotch. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that, and that. That, oh my goodness, you had so many things. The sweet roll! Uh, that's... Okay. Snowberries? Gotta, gotta make sure that you keep on picking things. Pick, pick, pick. Tundra cotton? Come with me, my friend. Oh, there's just some stuff in here. Frostbite venom. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Uh, lavender... That, that, health potion. I think it was a damage health, but anyway. Take that, that, that. Didn't get any points from it, so probably already had those, but that's okay. Okay. And death bell, tundra cotton. Bigger prints. I'm pretty sure I have that. So dramatic. Always so dramatic. You know what? I could just have a Demora that was not so freaking dramatic. It's like he's a teenage boy or something. He's like, oh. Um. Teenage issues. Uh, ba ba ba. That sweet poison. Uh, nothing important. Lavender. Lavender. There's so many books. I'm gonna fill up on books. Should be like, hey, you're carrying 40 books. Could you stop, maybe? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't think you need all this stuff. It's like, but I do. I need all these books. I don't think I have that. There's so many real Baron Zaya books, it's just like, it's a waste of time to pick them up, basically, but I'm still gonna pick them up. Alright. If I run out of space, I can go through and be like, I have 20 of the same book, I can drop these. Well, at least I'm getting a fair amount of, um, ingredients. Pick that up. 
Hello. What is this? Uh, expert. Okay. Magic. We'll take that. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 that. Eh, might as well. What is this? Yes. Thank you for the gold. I believe his body has been searched. Garlic, garlic, garlic. Gold. F5. Because there's a lot of looting. Uh, chest. Gold. Apples. Nope. Nope. Empty. Okay. So let's go back over here because that looks like the way we need to go because it's all master lock and all that stuff. Um, so we need to go up here and see if there's anything up here. And if not, then... Oh wait, this is... No, this isn't where it came from. Okay. Take all these. Like I said, I can just go through my inventory and whatever I have double of, I'll just drop. Uh, it kind of sucks that I have to like look at them before I pick them up. I mean, it's cool, but when you're doing a mass pickup of items, it's, it's like... I know I've gotten cake in the diamond a couple times. But it's kind of annoying, you know, having to constantly just pick them up, read them, put them in my inventory, and all that stuff. Take skulls. Really? I thought there would be a, uh, a, a gem. I guess they didn't put one in here because if they did and the player missed it, then they would not be able to complete that quest. So actually, it kind of makes sense that it wouldn't show up here. But, you know, it's good to look. Watch there still be one. Uh, so we're going to keep checking, that's why. Take that. That. And I've seen the Wolf Queen. I don't know what version of the Wolf Queen. Definitely picked up Spirit of Nern before, and that. Take that and that. Tundra, Tundra. There's nothing in there. Take all of this. Oh, I didn't want that basket, but I wanted everything else. Ooh, a safe! Is this the first time seeing a safe? It might be. Yeah, my inventory looks fine. What's in here? That. Keep your fine clothes. Snowberries. Wardrobe. Nine gold. I feel like a, a lot of what I've picked up is just gold, so it, it really isn't a big issue. I don't want that. I want that. There we go. Here. Seven gold. Yeah, no no Stone of Baron's Eye, which is fine. Like I said, you know, it, it would have been a really jerky move to, to put it in here, and then the player accidentally miss it, and then they wouldn't be able to complete the quest. Because there is no coming back to this, I don't think. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Why does it want me to go out there? Oh, because all the other quests are, are checked off. Alright, let's go over here. Ooh, thank you. I wonder if I could have just walked through those guys. If I hadn't uh, thrown out my Demora. A challenger! A challenger. I guess I really don't need this guy. Like, he didn't do anything. He's just like a challenger. I don't know. I always remember this being really difficult. I hey. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. Uh, I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want then? Uh, no time to explain. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. Come on. This way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Yeah, hold on. Uh, you may know something I important. I damn well hope so. If it helps you twist them up, I'm glad to help. They're after some old guy named Esburn. Something to do with dragons. I gathered it from listening to them talk me. when they thought I was out. I've seen a guy in Riften who they seem to think is him. Not much to go on, 
I don't even know where he lives or his name, but they seem pretty excited about it. That's it. Now, let's get out of here. Uh, who are you and what are you doing? Hey, here? haven't I seen you around the flagon? I never expected to see another guild brother down here. They grabbed me in the rat way. The nerve of these bastards. They need to be taught a lesson. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here. And Sounds good, I'll follow you. you want. But let's go Surrender now. Surrender immediately, or you Where? both die. Well, then come down here. What was that? Fine, I'll go up there. Time to finish this! Look, he's my friend. Uh, trapdoor key. You, interrogation chamber key, trapdoor key. I guess, uh, Malvorn is now my, my problem, too. Ooh, what's in here? What's this? What's this? What's this? There's something to do, do do do. What's this? Seriously, though. What's going on? Leather strips? Take? Yes, take. What you looking at, dude? Riking grumble too, doggy. Where am I? I don't know, but I would have missed this chest. Thank you. Interrogation, Dolphine. There we go. Uh, I don't. Oop, what was that? Iron Dagger, Inkwell. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it, it was like literally right here, and I would have missed it. That would have been so bad. I'm glad that I saw that. Okay. So, in here. I know where I need to go. I just want to explore a little bit before actually going. What was that? Garlic? Balming tool? Chest? There we go. Do I need to read these in order to, um, in order to progress the quest? Nothing in here? Mm, nothing in there? Chest? Yes. Malachite? Uh, nothing in here. What's up here? Nothing. Uh, is there another chest up here? No, but there is a dresser. And just has some shoes. Uh, armor. Eh. There might still be some stuff that I can steal from people, so... I'm not gonna waste the space on that. Alright, come on, guy. Let's go down here. I have a key. Hey, you moss. He's just gone. He's like, I am so done with you guys. I'm done with this place. Alright, dude. I got you. Come here. No, no. You're dead. Troll fat. I missed out on some hanging moss, but that's fine. I didn't need it. Aha! There is a stone... Of Baron Zaya. So you could have missed it. Oh my gosh. That is horrible. I love it. <laughs> that is evil. I love it. Alright. Um, at least Melbourne is sticking with me. The other guy is just like cowering in a corner somewhere because he does that for some reason. Alright, let's go. It's so bright in here. Bright yet dark and it sucks. Alright. Uh, completed. Escape. Talk to Dalphine. Yeah. You didn't have to help me, so thanks. Alright. Re recover your equipment. Alright. So we got to... Nope. Not yet. Probably gotta go to Riverwood. Yep. Right here. Uh, let's read those books before I give them to her. So that's what we're gonna do as soon as we spawn in. Alright, items. I, I probably don't have to read them, but I want to, so... Uh, Thalmor, Dossier, Delphine. 
status active capture or kill high, high priority uh, missionary level approval description female Breton mid 50s she's mid 50s really she seemed like 30s uh, background Delphine was a high priority target during the first war for both operational and political reasons she was directly involved in several of the most damning damaging operations carried out by the blades within the dominion she had been identified and was slated for the initial purge but by bad luck was recalled to cryodil just before the outbreak of hostilities during the war she evaded three attempts on her life in one case killing an entire assassination team since then we have only indirect evidence of her movements as she was has proven extremely alert to her surveillance she should be considered very dangerous and no move against her should be made without overwhelming force and the most careful preparation operational notes she is believed to still be working actively against us within skyrim although we have no location on her assumed to be working alone as no other blades are known to be active in skyrim and she has in the past avoided contact with her fugitive blades for her own security uh one of the reasons she has so far evaded elimination her continued existence is an effort or an affront to all of us any information on her whereabouts or activities should be immediately forwarded to the third emiss emissary all right and then as born no i don't i don't want that i wanted as Apparently, I have to use my arrow keys, even though I've got a mouse. Status fugitive capture only. Highest priority, emissary level approval. Description male, Nord, late 70s. Okay, so this got old. Uh, background, Esborn was one of the Blades lore masters prior to the first war against the Empire. He was not a field agent, but is now believed to have been behind some of the most damn damaging operations carried out by the blades during the pre-war years including the felnesty incident and the breach of the blue river prison his file had remained dormant for many years an ex inexcusable error on the part of my predecessor who has been recalled to Eleanor for uh, Eleanor Eleanor uh, for punishment and uh, re-education in the erroneous belief that he was unlikely to pose a threat due to his advanced age and lack of field experience. A uh, sal salutatory reminder to all op operational levels that no blade against agent should be considered low priority for any reason. All are to be found and, in and justice exacted upon them. Operational notes. As we are still in the dark as to the cause and meaning of the return of the dragons, I have made capturing Esborn our top priority, as he is known to be one of the experts in the dragon lore of the Blades. Regrettably, we have yet to match their expertise on the subject of dragons, which was derived from their Akavir origins and is still far superior to our own, which remains largely theoretical. The archives of Cloud Ruler Temple, which is believed to have been the primary repository of the oldest blades lore, were largely destroyed during the siege and although great effort has been made to reconstruct what was lost, it now appears that most of the records related to dragons were either removed or destroyed prior to our attack. Thus, Esborn remains our best opportunity to learn how and why the dragons have returned. It cannot be ruled out that the blades themselves are somehow connected to the dragon's return. We have recently obtained solid information that Esborn is still alive and hiding somewhere in Riften. Interrogation of a possible eyewitness is ongoing. We must proceed carefully to avoid Esborn becoming alerted to his danger. If he is indeed in Riften, he must not be given an opportunity to flee. Okay, and then one last one, Ulfric Stormcloak. Uh, status asset, uh, uncooperative, dormant, emissary level approval. Description, Jarl of Windhelm, leader of Stormcloak Rebellion, Imperial Legion veteran. Background, Ulfric... Uh, uh, 
I was playing with the little squirrely wheel on my mouse and it did that. Background. Ulfric first came to our attention after the first war against the Empire when he was taken as a prisoner of war during the campaign for the White Gold Tower. Under interrogation, he lear we learned of his potential value, son of the Jarl of Windhelm, and he was assigned as an asset to the interrogator, who is now First Emissary Elwyn. He was made to believe information obtained during his interrogation was crucial in the capture of the Imperial City, the city that, in fact, fallen before he had broken, and then allowed to escape after the war. Contact was established, and he has proven his worth as an asset. The so-called Markarth incident was particularly valuable from the point of view of our strategic goals in Skyrim, although in it resulted in Ulfric becoming generally uncooperative to direct contact. Optional notes, or operational notes, uh, direct contact remains a possibility under extreme circumstances, but in general, the asset should be considered dormant as long as the Civil War proceeds in its current indecisive fashion. We should remain hands off. The incident at Helgen is an example where an exception had to be made. Obviously, Ulfric's death would have dramatically increased the chance of an imperial victory and thus harmed our overall position in Skyrim. Note, the coincidental intervention of the dragon at Helgen is still under scrutiny. The obvious conclusion is that whoever is behind the dragons also has an interest in the com continuation of the war, but we should not assume, therefore, that their goals align with our own. The Stormcloak victory is also to be avoided, however, to so even indirect aid to the Stormcloaks must be carefully managed. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and end that episode, or this episode here, before I talk to Delphine. And then I'll bring you guys back in just a moment. So peace out. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'm your hippie lady. And uh, peace out.